on behalf of Geeta Ratan International Business School in the Illumine Lecture Series. Geeta Ratan International Business School was established in the year 2004. The institute is affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh in the Press University, Delhi, and is approved by All India Council for Technical Education, Ministry of HRD, and Government of India for Technical Programs, and Bar Council of India for Law Programs. Gibbs is currently offering postgraduate programs like MBA, MBA International, Business, and MCA Integrated and Undergraduate courses, namely BBA, BALLB, and BBA. It has been graded A by National Assessment and Accreditation Council in second cycle. It has an ISO 9001 and certified institute. Gibbs has been rated A plus by State Fee Regulatory Committee, a fee committee of government of NCT and Delhi. Rated highest grading A by Joint Inspection Committee of Government of NCT of Delhi and GGS IP University. It has been rated grade A by Academic Audit Cell of GGS IP University consecutively from past eight years. Also, Gibbs has been rated as number pan two India by Times Business School Survey in 2018, 2019, and 2021. Gibbs Alumni Lecture Series is a series of lectures featuring speakers, often past alumni, who are leaders in business, finance, economics, entrepreneurship, law, and other diverse areas. The session have provoking discussions, engaging topics, and networking with alumni with the objective of bridging the gap between the alumni and the current batches. Alumni can help in advocating students' placement at their respective organizations, and connecting with them can help the students to building the professional networking platforms. The lecture series fulfilling the following objectives to trace the journey of transformation from a student to a successful business professional, to create advocate facilities of updating knowledge of students to meet growth and development needs of the industry, to promote closer interaction between the academic field and professional field for understanding challenges confronted at workplace to cultivate mutually beneficial and lasting relationship with one another. Now, I would like to invite Ms. Hina Praveen, human resource professional with MBA in HR, diploma in aviation, enthusiast leaner, worked as human resource trainee and association in tech to global web solutions. She is currently working with NLB services as talent acquisition trainee. Please welcome her to share the journey from Compass to Corporate. Hina ma'am, I'm audible. Hina ma'am. Hello, everyone. Yes, ma'am, you're audible. OK, am I audible to you all? Yes, ma'am. OK, hi, uh, very good afternoon. And this is an honor to speak front of you all. I want to say thanks to the team having me here front of you all. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, yes. Ma'am, can you switch on your camera? It is, is already possible? switched on. Ma'am, it's not showing the, the screen. Can you, can it's you, okay, ma'am. Go with me. It's okay, ma'am. Continue. It is already switched on. Can you see me now? No. Yes, uh, it is. Now it is visible. okay now. Now it's visible, ma'am. 
Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, so thank you so much uh, to having me here. And this is such a pleasure and honor to be here in front of you all. So it's not only about the journey that uh, I have been through. I was doing my MBA only, but uh, this was the journey not only about the college lectures to the placement, but more than that. So a uh, lot of hurdles, a lot of up and ups and downs, and uh, I was going through and uh, as uh, from the beginning to end and when I got placed and after that. So uh, there was there were things which were, uh, you know, I was facing and I was having there. OK, so let me just start with my uh, presentation now. Just uh, give me a moment. Can you all see uh, see my screen? Yes, ma'am. OK. OK, so uh, this was as I just told you that this was not just uh, not just about the college lectures to the placements, but this journey was more than that. And uh, this was something uh, when uh, you know when we start to uh, uh, when we start to learn and interact. Uh, with the you know with teachers with uh, students uh, and the classmates and everyone. OK, so way back in years after my 12th, uh, let me introduce myself first way back in years uh, after 12th, I did my diploma in aviation and hospitality, but uh, to get a good job, it was important to have graduated uh, gra graduation my completed. So I continued my studied after uh, studies after that, uh, but then I went to my tutor. He he suggested me to pursue my career and get a professional degree added in educational career. After that, I enrolled in MBA and uh, to upskill myself to grab a professional degree. I did not know exactly which, uh, which way to go, but somewhere in my mind it was there that uh, yes, I would be doing HR. As I, I knew about my strengths that I was very good at interacting people. I was good at communicating and everything. So I continued MBA and I studied and also I started to take participation in various activities and events and uh, uh, which also helped me incorporate. OK. Along with that learning uh, along with, you know, studies and learnings, a lot of hurdles, ups and downs and everything was there. But somewhere around in mid of my career, I had to take a pause and I was eagerly waiting to have my MBA completed with some learning and uh, you know the lifelong experiences. So I have had never give up attitude, which I started to continue and uh, uh, I finished it till end. So I took a specialization in HR and marketing. It, it was something uh, we cannot change later and the whole career is based on based on this decision only. So it was a time to get placements where mock interviews helped to prepare, you know, about uh, for the actual interviews. And finally, I got placed with one of the firm in education uh, sector as a CRM. But uh, you know, uh, when uh, there is uh, there is good, there is always, you know, uh, mm -hmm. we can say yes. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, your PPT is not visible in the screen. Is it visible? No, no ma'am. I hope you all can see now. No ma'am. When your screen share is stopped. Okay. I hope you all can see it now. No, ma'am. I think there is some glitch. Just give me a moment, please. Let me know once it is visible, okay? Okay, ma'am. Now, oh, ma'am, it's visible. Continue. Okay. You all can see my screen, right? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. So uh, finally, I got placed with one of the firm in education sector as a CRM while I was doing job final exams which were going on and after that I could not continue for long term there because I wanted a job in HR. So I had to leave. I took placements, uh, you know, uh, which I would suggest is never take your placements for granted. But that moment I took placements for granted and that was my mistake. I would suggest never, never follow and never took these placements for granted. Also, I had to figure out my purpose to do a job after, you know, getting placements when we have a clear picture in our mind so that uh, where we are heading to will literally reach there. So uh, then uh, then this was the pandemic happened and I, I, I was, you know, almost in dilemma that uh, now what will happen? But somewhere I have uh, had my positive attitude the positive friends who uh, you know uh, who never left me lose hope then i got chance to do a job in hr i joined as a trainee and got promoted to hr associate that i joined a software it based development company and uh, th this was something where uh, you know i was heading to uh, my career where it was something uh, I, I would be really grateful for so I joined as trainee and got promoted to HR associate and uh, I was handling all the things in the organization. That was an achievement for me to get promoted as HR associate. At some stage, there are some scenarios where you start to look for job change. Then I joined my current organization, which is US based company NLB services as a part of talent acquisition team. OK, so uh, let's ba uh, go back to the college time and I want to share my, uh, you know, the journey, what exactly uh, were happening in Kitaratan International Business School the, that really helped me to make me, you know. So uh, it's not only about the classroom lectures. Classroom lectures is not only, you know, attending the uh, class classes and just leaving the room. No, it was more than that, interacting with uh, the students and interacting with teachers. Teachers has always, always, you know, uh, been very supportive. I remember one scenario. I want to share it with you. Uh, that was a scenario when uh, I told my teacher, ma'am, being a creative mind, uh, playing with numbers, it's, you know, not my cup of tea. But then uh, I remember my accounts teacher. She was supporting me in a very positive way. She said, Hina, don't do not uh, do yourself down as if if your classmates can do it all, then you can do it as well. So she supported me. She helped me out. She said then ask questions as many as you can. And uh, she helped me really. And next time I was really good in I, I, I came up with good numbers in my exam. So that was the scenario where I don't know if uh, she would be listening this or not, but she was very supportive. Aisha ma'am was that uh, there that time. So another thing, as I would say that uh, the extempore and the daily news, uh, daily news helped a lot as it helped to lose, uh, helped to, to you know the gain uh, confidence in me that helped to brainstorming my mind, and I could able to you know speak front of people where uh, before I never experienced it speaking front of 50, 60 students or 50, 60 people. That was something which I gained. And let's come to the part uh, with when participation in activities played a very, very, very important role in my life. I would say uh, participation in activities uh, was not just, uh, you know, getting participated in case studies debate uh, from case studies debate, Nukkarnatak, mono acting to uh, creating and arranging event and activities for Gita Ratan International Business School School. That has been an amazing experience where I got to learn. I got courage in me. I, you know, I that helped me in my corporate as well. When I was in my uh, HR associate role, I was uh, handling employee engagement and that helped me there a lot. So never get waste your experiences whenever you know you do that. That should be your learning when wherever you go that really helps you out. And uh, if I talk about the industrial visits, uh, that was really, you know, a good interface to uh, like how the process, how the work goes, how uh, 
in our in our in, in industries how one by one step by step things are done that i remember that was yakult when we went there and it was an amazing experience to see how things work and uh, how uh, machines are there working how people are arranging things and the management and everything that was also an amazing experience there and uh, coming to the point seminars uh, outstanding experience as seminars uh, you know were something where i could learn from pe well experienced people uh, people there and uh, uh, the speakers one by one speakers came a lot of seminars happened in gitarat and international business school and uh, uh, let's say from hr to uh, hr management time management uh, how to change uh, how to balance uh, things in life work like work life balance and uh, uh, you know uh, how to handle the pressure how to focus and everything a to z a lot of learning was there in gitarat international business school uh, business school as a part of you know gitarat and has been very proud for me so uh, let's come to the point where uh, where your specialization where choosing your spe specialization uh, plays a very important role for you because the your whole journey your whole uh, you know coming career in your way totally depends upon that so choosing a major was a little little uh, you know confusing between hr and marketing for me because somewhere around i i had in my mind that i am going to choose hr and marketing but i did not uh, you know uh, got a clear picture that uh, uh, what exactly should i choose but i had a strength and i had uh, uh, somewhere in my mind to, to pursue my career in hr as i told you initially so i uh, it, it made uh, made for me to to take decision very easy so i chose hr human resources as i was good at communication i was good at interacting people i was good uh, at so many things uh, which i i could analyze things so that was the part where uh, opting major played a role in my life and uh, i uh, after choosing you know a uh, major the research projects were there choosing research projects projects were um, you know, where i could uh, identify where uh, you know how corporate works so particular topic was given to us as you all have done and that was uh, also a good experience for me and let's come to come to the point which is very important about mock interviews mock interviews is uh, uh, mock interviews are something like uh, uh, i would say plays also a very very important role when uh, it comes to a, uh, to an actual interviews that help me to know where i am lacking where i need to work on and uh, how things uh, can be better and about placements as i told you uh, placements also never never take your take for granted your placements uh, when you get a chance to work for uh, any organization just grab the opportunity and move on because to reach somewhere you have to start from somewhere so uh, why mba why i chose mba and why people choose mba basically it is a professional and aspiring uh, professional degree and you become aspiring manager in future you would be a manager one day and uh, this is clear picture in people's mind and sometimes it's not uh, uh, only aspiring manager but uh, who wants to uh, start their business and entrepreneurship so that is something they become uh, very very uh, very much aware about uh, the market and everything and how things go on and uh, it uh, mba gives a clear picture in mind so uh, mba also helps to develop skill set in a person it's not only about the theory theoretical knowledge but about a lot a lot of knowledge which uh, you know uh, we gain up as uh, uh, being being a part of mba we develop a lot of skills you even cannot imagine i would share it in our, in my next ppt how uh, skills i would have uh, you know developed there so specialization to fit in for your goals in my previous ppt i uh, explained about the choosing your specialization plays a very important role because it will take you to the step where you want to and uh, it is important to choose your specialization 
for your goals to achieve. So MBA gives a path to choose your specialization where you want to go, where you want to reach. So this is something uh, MBA can help you out to reach the for a particular domain and to uh, reach there. And uh, if I talk about knowledge part, of course, MBA plays a very important role uh, enhancing knowledge as each and every aspect we learn, we you know go through the uh, I would say uh, uh, enhancing knowledge at every step. If, let's say from the uh, from every every aspect it covers. I would say uh, people come from big, different different backgrounds, so um, everyone uh, who join MBA course they are eligible to pursue their career, and it also helps to enhance their knowledge. Summer trainings and live exposure is also given to the MBA students, so MBA plays an uh, important part uh, here also. Coping up with challenges, you know, uh, MBA is not only about studying and getting a job, but your inner skills, your uh, 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 the upskilling yourself, uh, uh, you know, it gives you something in you, something zeal if you have, then you would be able to cope up with challenges as well. The challenges you face in daily life or if I say uh, challenges in a pa in a life of a college or uh, challenges you face in corporate and in your career, you would be able to deal with them as there they would be, you know, uh, management to provide, uh, you know, some uh, seminars help to, uh, helps us to deal with challenges, how to cope up with them, how to decide things and how to take, you know, initiative on things. So overall it helps to cope up with challenges. It helps in networking. Yes, this is very important. Uh, MBA helps to build up network when you are connecting with your seniors, your teachers, seniors get placed with various companies, your uh, your classmates get placements and uh, they get placed with a uh, you know, uh, 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 I would say they are getting placed with a good companies so you can connect with them. You can create your network so that uh, it helps you in your career as well. MBA also helps to boost your confidence when you where you are eligible to, you know, to and you you would be like a go getter person. I would say no matter you are what kind of personality you have, you would definitely boost your confidence. Another last but not least is, uh, you know, you would be learning self discipline, how to uh, how to manage things, how to keep your work on time, how to manage uh, your life, your studies, your uh, career, how you would be doing and cooperating in corporate. So. Let's come to the point where uh, what career scope we have after doing MBA. Uh, let's talk about my domain. It's human resources HR domain where I am. I am working in a talent acquisition team and recruitment. So this is one of the domain in HR uh, as you can work as a talent acquisition or a recruitment. Don't take recruitment for granted because this is not just a recruit. So I was talking about human resources as uh, this is uh, this is the field that I chose for me as a major and talent acquisition and recruitment. I would say do not take it for granted because talent acquisition and recruitment is not just about uh, calling a candidate and scheduling the interviews, but this is more than that. And uh, you are not just taking uh, their uh, you know telephonic round. In future, when you are taking some experience, uh, you would be coming up front and you would be one day you would be taking interviews from frontline as well. So this is something uh, you can choose for you and talent acquisition is about, you know, choosing a talent, uh, you know, as per the particular skill, as per the particular requirement, we choose a talent, uh, we choose a person who, uh, you know, have that skill set. So particularly we target the person and we reach out to that to the uh, to that person. And uh, another thing learning and development is a part which we already you know study in human resource in MBA as well. Learning and development is about uh, 
uh, you know, I would say when you join an organization, uh, any organization you join, you are being trained. So at the time of training, the person who is providing you training is from learning and development department. So this is the uh, this is the career career you can choose for yourself. And generally, generalist is, uh, you know, who takes care, who sees all the things inside the organization, who interact with employees, who take care of each and everything, who who handles all the things on boarding and everything. So when you uh, if you are a part of Taiwan or Tier Two organizations, Tier Two companies, uh, when you join a big company, there are different different departments for onboarding, grievance handling, employee relations. I would say employee engagement uh, is a uh, there would be a person who would be handling that. Uh, so payroll, exit formalities. Uh, there there are the things are divided in uh, some organizations. But when uh, you join a corporate and there are, you know, not uh, a medium level, I would say, organization you join, the generalist, general uh, HR generalist plays this role that uh, HR generalist takes care of all the onboarding things, uh, employee engagement, uh, the training part also takes care of it, and uh, uh, recruitment is also in hands of HR sometimes. So payroll and everything comes in the generalist part and uh, uh, moving ahead for marketing and sales marketing and sales uh, first of all you have to understand the difference between marketing and sales this is very important sales are basically to generate uh, generate a revenue to earn some profit and marketing is uh, something when we create an image in the minds of the customer or consumer right so that uh, it can help to increase the sales so there is a big difference between both uh, things and uh, i would give you example uh, if you have uh, seen the current uh, advertisement of sharukh khan cadbury who is presenting the local stores so this is something uh, connected to the emotions and uh, they are uh, to increase the sales to increase the uh, value of local store, they are doing mar marketing in that way. And <clears throat> moving ahead, if I talk about the finance and banking part, finance, uh, I would say uh, it it is a vast domain. Uh, I would give you some uh, basic things which in on initial stages the uh, the uh, pass out get job in our client relationship manager. Uh, they join as client relationship manager, banker, accountant, insurance and claims department, as well as an auditor or tax and so on. This is vast domain which you can choose for. And uh, I have covered three to four topics only here. Otherwise, it, it could have taken a long. And uh, 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 if, if you have questions, you can ask in the end. Anyways, so let's come to the point of uh, entrepreneurship, online business. Uh, when you think to start your business, you are starting your business uh, when you have a different idea in your mind and you are creative enough to start your business, you are ready to take risk in your business. Definitely you should start your business. There are a lot of lot of opportunities there in the market. You can start your business as uh, you know, as at e-commerce platforms. They, they are giving a lot of lot of opportunities there. You can start your online business as a consultant, as a retailer, franchisee. You can take some franchisee and start your brand um, or or you can start your brand and uh, you can tie up as ambassador with the brand uh, or you can, you know, start your business in international business overseas or a foreign business, I would say. So uh, international business itself, a uh, vast domain uh, you must be having in MBA as well. OK, so. If I talk about as I was talking about why you should do MBA, it helped you to develop some skill set. So the skill that uh, that helped me to develop in myself is uh, commun communication. I am able to communicate whether it is written, verbal, upfront or any kind of communication. It is a business communication. I am able to do it. And this is something which uh, I have added in my account i would say 
and the leadership and mentorship you would be able to lead people you would be able to mentor them because you know ups and downs now and you know you have taken a lot of challenges in uh, in uh, uh, mba and after mba when taking a job uh, when it comes to a placement part you see a lot of hurdles a lot of challenges when it comes to uh, take a job so uh, you would be able to mentor people uh, this is my fortune that uh, like i am front of you all and speaking so another thing managerial skills you would be able to manage things on time effectively i would say and uh, this is this is a line that uh, doing your work efficiently and effectively in management this is uh, this is uh, a skill set you would be uh, able to do it you would be attaining managerial skills like managing all the tasks all the things on a time another skill help to, to develop is grievance handling grievance handling is something is something uh it, it also a part of human resource um when it comes to employee relations when anything happens in the corporate anything happens in the organization this grievance handling this employee relation department handles all the things and uh, they they come up with the conclusion and they see they analyze whose mistake was that was the it was a mistake from uh, organization side or it was a mistake from the employee side or whatever it is so um it it uh, it would help you to you know build the skill set you would be able to resolve the skills uh, sorry you would be able to resolve conflicts in your career i would say in your personal life as well because you would be able to analyze things in a better way another thing uh, teamwork while participating in events and activities i uh, i would share my experience with you as i was uh, coordinating with my uh, seniors my teachers i remember i want to thank teachers as well here as uh, i was coordinating with manisha ma'am jyoti ma'am uh, sheetal ma'am uh, 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 richa ma'am ritu ma'am uh, a lot and and so on and many teachers i have worked with and this was a very good experience where i've got to learn about the team work how team works and uh, handling events was also a great experience in masters in my mba geeta ratan has given me to manage things in a good manner in a disciplinary manner as well so um, yeah team work you would be able to uh, upskill Uh, you would be able to uh, skill make yourself skilled in a team you would be able to work in a team so another thing it also helped me to boost my confidence it also uh, i have also gained a lot of courage in me the confidence level i have the courage i have i can do anything i would say so uh, the zeal the zeal if you have a zeal to do anything you can do it trust my words you can do it and building a network okay so the best decision i took in my career was to switch from facebook to linkedin yeah i i am not using facebook for years i am a part of linkedin community uh, for for years i would say and i have a strong network as well so build your uh, uh, network if it is possible join linkedin if you have still not joined there and interview this is something important which would help you in getting a job so what are the important things you 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 should consider giving before giving your interview you have to keep in mind these things these are very important things which would help you to get to land a job okay so first of all you have to be confident even when you know don't know anything just be confident show don't get nervous because the person who is sitting front of you is just like you he is the he or she is the person who is just normally asking you questions this is not a rocket science you cannot clear this is not something you cannot uh, uh, you know answer you have studied in your mba you know your domain you know your uh, the specialization you know where you are heading to so i would recommend you to be confident when you are appearing for interview another thing when you answer answer it clear and concise do not stretch it too much do not make it short 
that should be clear when you are answering something that should be clear and concise another thing is check yes this is very important and uh, it uh, it is basically uh, that can affect in the interview the whole interview you would be giving there is always a question they would ask you about the company what do you know about the organization you are giving your interview in so before going for interview just prep up yourself for uh, for yourself and check its website who is the founder when the company started uh, what is the turnover uh, turnover of the company the how many departments are there which organize uh, which department you are going to join what is the hierarchy of the company so these are the basic things you can uh, you know prep prep yourself for interview another thing is having information of your domain this is very important you have been going through you have been learning throughout the years in bb or md you uh, you learn about your domain and you should take some basic knowledge the job you are applying for go through you know once go through the job description the job you are applying for go through the job dis description very carefully and have information about it so that uh, you can you would be able to speak in your interview another thing is presentable don't take it for granted never be presentable whenever you are going for interview you have to be presentable just be confident uh, dress up well take uh, if uh, uh, take wear your business formals and uh, just uh, touch up your face or uh, get a hairstyle or something so this is important also and uh, another thing uh, when you would be giving your interview keep an eye eye contact this is important keep an eye contact with them and don't take it for granted smile smile every time whenever you are giving interview they are not punishing you they are not scolding you for coming up for interview so just smile and answer uh, well when required smile moving ahead know your strength and weaknesses this is something when you know your strength you can utilize this utilize it in your career which would help you to pursue your career also um, know your weaknesses so strength and weaknesses is something never underestimate your strength uh, never underestimate underestimate your strength to never overestimate your weaknesses and uh, i would say the turning your weakness into strength uh, the biggest challenge you can accept so your weakness should not be your uh, weakness within you because you can uh, overcome it you can uh, this is something uh, uh, this is a talent i would say if you can turn your weakness into your strength even in the at the time of interview you are giving your interview do not tell about your weaknesses front of them tell them uh, that this is the strength you have like you are a good communicator and the weakness you have is you can uh, not take breath you can not stop until you do your work right so you can use it in this way another thing uh, is positive approach always always have a positive approach you you see here the glass is filled or half empty does not matter if it is full or half empty what matters is you have a glass and that is filled so having a positive approach having a positive mindset is very important in your career to move ahead because whenever you think to give up whenever you think to stop you should not give up have a positive that uh, when, whenever you fail or something you should keep in mind that, that uh, no there is there is something which you can learn from it and you can move on and uh, the things would would happen better would be better do not uh, take things for granted and just be grateful whatever you have be, be grateful for uh, the opportunities you are having and uh, do not avoid them another thing a positive approach says to have a positive self talk when uh, we think we are doing self talk so the Uh, the thought that are coming in our minds so this is the uh, these are the thoughts that we are saying to ourselves that do this or do that so this is a self talk which we do and we think about it so we need to have a positive conversation with ourselves 
when you talk to uh, your strength when you think about your yourself just stay keep in mind to have a positive mindset positive thought so moving ahead as i told that having a uh, be grateful am i audible to you all yes ma'am you are audible okay thank you so being grateful is the uh, is the is something you have to you know even even your small achievements appreciate your achievements be thankful for even you do your small task just be grateful for it that you have it do not say i just have it i have more i want this i want that no being grateful is very important because it would take you somewhere this is the universe which uh, uh, if where we are living and the universe would open up their arms to give you n number of things to give you a lot of opportunities when you are grateful this is my personal experience i have been going through so i would tell you just be grateful whatever you have but don't uh, uh, you know don't think negative and don't say i just have it just uh, if you have it then be grateful for that another thing winning mindset yes this is important winning mindset is not just uh, uh, having a mind that you have to do it you have to uh, do it anyway winning mindset having a mini- winning mindset is like even when you decide in yourself that you have to do it you have to win the race this is in your mind when you uh, make a strategy in your mind when you plan something when you have already decided you have to do it just have get it done do not delay it do not procrastinate it do not uh, uh, just say that this is challenging i cannot do it you can do it just have a winning mindset stop blame game another thing i would say uh, when things does not work out we start to blame people right when we start to blame people we say because of this person i could not do it because of that person i could not do it because uh, this teacher is not uh, uh, you know uh, able to deliver the lecture i am unable to do it no they are giving you 100% they are supportive even i can uh, give my example they are even today they are supporting they are guiding they are playing a very important role in our life they mentor us you know and uh, uh, if i talk about the family these people say they does not support me i cannot do it no this is my personal experience when i was uh, having my challenges in in my life so it was something that i used to say because of that person i am unable to do it right but then i then things came in my mind and i started to make things strategize and i started to build my way i started to take things very very seriously and i stopped blaming them i said myself i am the only reason if i am unable to do it i am myself is the only reason if i am unable to achieve anything so i myself is the reason if i am unable to do it okay uh, i i want to share an example uh, here i remember it was my freshers and uh, in the in, in the freshers party i was very uh, you know i was very excited about uh, participating in fashion mania and uh, having things done i prepared for my uh, talent as well so just give me a moment so yes we should uh, always do it okay uh, i i am going to i'm going to uh, give something i would say uh, i'm going to time is o- getting over so i have to wind it up and uh, the, i want I, I, i i'm sorry i would just take your 2 minutes here a uh, corporate culture i want to talk about this is a corporate culture that behavior is judged your whether you are extrovert introvert or ambivert whatever you are 
your behavior is being judged just behave yourself well mannered and uh, keep a good bond with your colleagues when uh, when you are going in a corporate world it i i was uh, you know uh, uh having this uh, uh, in, in even in my corporate experience this uh, this this worked because having a good experience a positive attitude helps building a bond in corporate culture is also very important have positive attitude and consistency i would say do not do not uh, uh, stop in between if you have started something just finish it or just keep yourself consistent for the job stay focused which is very important and uh, uh, focus helps you to you know achieve whatever what you have decided have a growth mindset if you have a growth mindset you can move ahead in life work life balance is also very important if i talk about the corporate culture when you are doing your job you have to manage your family as well so work life balance is also important okay so uh, uh, my personal after my a uh, lot of uh, experience here in a short journey but a lot of learning i have so i want to tell you something few suggestions from my side never take college placements for granted yes never take it for granted another thing is don't waste your time it's very precious do not spend it uh, when uh, when things are important which is important spend your time there do not waste it third thing is a uh, learn skills you are an aspiring manager you are aspiring entrepreneur just learn wherever you are going when wherever you are you try to learn new things try to upgrade yourself learn new skills uh, learn new um the uh, software learn new, learn uh, interact with people learn new things with them as well which is also very important keep a learning mindset communicate about your problems to come uh, come to a conclusion don't keep it yes uh, this this i want to say is very important communicate about your problem to come to a conclusion tell it whoever you are close to just share with uh, share your problems your uh, uh, challenges with them do not do not keep it to yourself otherwise you would not be able to come to a conclusion another thing is be presentable in interview uh, be being presentable is very important being confident apart from learning and uh, uh, apart from answering well uh, this is also an important part which is presentable and you are being judged on it to respect professor even after college i want to thank my professors having me here the vikas sir sheetal ma'am and uh, the team all over the team um, mansi ma'am here i want to thank them to having me here and uh, i still uh, have respect i res- i am going to respect them for my life uh, because they have uh, you know played a very important role in my life as well so wherever you are never never forget your pros- professor your teacher your mentor surrounding matters yes my last suggestion is that uh, surround yourself with a like minded a good people uh, who are who keeps a winning mindset who is focused in their life who is who who is who has a growth mindset and last but not least which is never give up when you are heading to something when you know your destination you would definitely reach it so never give up in your career so thank you so much uh, and uh, yeah thank you and uh, glad connecting with you all here you can stay connected with me if you want to you can follow me and connect with me on telegram and uh, email as well thank you thank you so much ma'am it was an encouraging session now yes. i request you all the participant to raise their questions ma'am i would like to ask and question ma'am can i yes please please ma'am my question is uh, how you handle your work from challenges i am sorry can you come again thank you how you handle your work from challenges work life challenges you are saying yes ma'am work front like challenges okay work front line okay yes. so uh, there are things in my uh, when i am working from home so i would say working from home is like you know coordinating with a team is not also easy 
so in my work there are challenges which are coming up front is like sometimes not always uh, sometimes it is a, uh, it is you know unable to sometimes uh, uh, you know convey what you want to say so conveying what you exactly want uh, sometimes becomes a challenge for me i would say and another challenge which uh, sometimes i face is uh, that is sometimes from the client side or sometimes within a team uh the, you know some uh, work challenge arise that uh, that uh, uh, we are even in a team we are unable to uh, sometimes uh, uh, you know give uh, what i say uh, exactly uh, sometimes uh, there there is a challenge that uh, you are unable to deliver what is expected right so uh, to deliver it we just come up uh, we strategize we uh, analyze the things where we are lacking where the gap is coming so we work on that thing and particularly we come up with a good result so this is the basic challenge which uh, i have faced thank you ma'am Now I would like to invite Prachi Tyagi, alumni of MBA Finance, 2017-2019 batch. Currently, she is working with uh, Genpack LLC as an internal auditor. She has 22.5 years of experience in SOX, internal audit, transition testing, risk complaints, risk management, remediation testing. Please welcome her to share experience with us. Prachi, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, you are not audible. Uh, just a minute. Now, ma'am, you are audible. Okay. Ma'am, can you switch on your camera? Sure. Give me a minute. Yes, ma'am. Am I visible now? Yes, ma'am. Hina, if you could stop sharing your screen, I can present my screen. Thank you. Give me a minute. Let me know once you're able to see my screen. Okay, ma'am. Is it visible? No, ma'am. Mm. Yes, ma'am, now it's visible. Okay, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone is safe at their places. I know this is difficult time for you all as we are going through a pandemic right now. And uh, I know this is a different experience all together for you everybody for uh, even for us because we have to work from home and you're not uh, able to experience the college like life like we did and i really hope that things will get better soon and you will be able to attend your college because it's a altogether different experience so i want this session to be an interactive session if you have any doubts you can come up uh, can up, come up to me and ask me right away so a brief introduction about myself. So I am Prachi Tyagi. I'm currently working in Genpac, uh, Genpac Enterprise Risk Consultancy. I'm working there as a consultant. Uh, if I explain it in simple terms, I'm working here as an auditor. I'm uh, auditing various clients from UK, Canada, US, Latin America, uh, Middle East uh, entities, or I would say um, Asia, Pacific region, everywhere. So basically, I'm performing testing on uh, on all over the world. So uh, if I talk about my MBA, I have completed my post graduation from Geeta Ratan International Business School, and uh, my majors were finance and my minors were international business. Before my post graduation, I was uh, with the, uh, like I was doing my graduation from Delhi University and my mains was BCom honors. So I was always into the finance field uh, because somewhere I believe that accounting and finance is my uh, would say strength. 
So I'm glad here, uh, glad that Gibbs have given me this opportunity to share my learnings and experience with you all. And I, I would really like to thank Mansi ma'am and Vikas sir for give, giving me this opportunity. <clears throat> So if I talk about my journey at Gibbs, so my journey at Gibbs was very unremarkable unremar and Gibbs has played a tremendous role in starting my career and my growth. If I talk about my college, I had enjoyed my college life to the fullest and had best days of my life. One of the best thing about college is you learn every day. You get a new exposure every day. Uh, if I would explain this in simple terms, uh, there were time that uh, Gibbs were organi organizing various events like business quiz, inter-college competitions where you can participate, you can coordinate. So we used to have our fair Zenith. I have co coordinated in Zenith like uh, for my two uh, like uh, uh, for my two years. So it gives me great opportunity in talking to people, having uh, interaction with them. It is like it was a great exposure for me. <clears throat> but the most important things I have learned from Gita Ratan is first is to be on time. Wherever you go, you should be on time. Uh, so like uh, we used to have our lectures at 9 a.m. in the morning and uh, it was almost impossible for me to be on time before I was in the games because, uh, you know, uh, I used to travel like 30, 35 kilometers to reach uh, to the college and I always get late by five minutes, 10 minutes and teacher won't allow us to enter into the class because we are late. So there I learned the importance of time and today here, am I, here I am, I am always on time where if you talk about business meetings, if you talk about any attending any parties or going out with friends, I am always on time. So this is the most important thing I have learned from Gita Ratan. I'm, and I'm really thankful uh, to my teachers that they help me in showing the importance of the time. So the second thing I learned from Gita Ratan is public speaking. Like you all, I was uh, uh, I was like uh, not very sure how to speak in public, how to give presentations. So this skill, like I have improved my this skill from Gita Ratan only. So there were uh, presentation sessions, group discussions. And in, in fact, I was uh, a part of organizing committee at Zenith. I have organized few treasure hunts in college. And uh, so this has helped me in like in my public speaking. The third thing I've learned here is how to give an introduction about yourself. This is the most important thing I've learned over here. So I still remember the days uh, when we joined back uh, college in 2017. So we had our first lecture and there was a teacher. She came to the class. She asked for an introduction. So like we were sitting, we were seeing each other like face with a blank face. We don't know how to introduce ourselves. So that was the time that uh, she, to she told us, she explained us like what, what are the points you should be presenting when you are briefing about yourself when you're giving introduction about yourself. And from that day and till today, it is like very convenient for me to give my introduction if any like if, if you go to an interview the first question the interviewer will ask you is uh, uh, they'll say like prachi hi prachi who are you we have gone through your cv but uh, would you like to brief about yourself so it is very important to learn to tell people about yourself because if you're not able to present your introduction properly you won't be able to crack the interview the fourth thing I've learned from Gita Ratan is how to give an interview. So uh, when I joined uh, Gibbs in 2017 uh, and I, I just completed uh, my graduation and uh, in, immediately after my graduation, I joined MBA. Then I like I had a no I had no exposure to corporate uh, world. I had no exposure 
to how to give an interview, how to crack an interview. I had no exposure of these things. So I still remember we were in the third semester. So we had some mock interview round before going to those mock interviews. Uh, the placement teacher, the, there was a teacher in a placement cell. She helped us in preparing an uh, CV. So she uh, then after preparing a CV, there was a, a mock interview round for everybody. So when we went to those interview uh, mock interviews, I was completely <laughs> I was I was I was literally shaking. Like I don't know how to speak, how to give an interview. Although I was very good at my subject, I was I was confident confident about my subject, but I don't know how to explain myself. And there was a problem. Then I went for the interview, like mock interview. There was a panel of three teachers over there. Uh, one was our uh, Pooja ma'am was there, and one was a VC sir, and the one teacher was from placement sir. So they asked me a few questions. I was able to give the answer, but I was not confident enough that my answers are correct or not. So the interview happened. I was shaking. I was like literally had no, uh, I would say uh, zero experience of interview. Then like uh, the interview happened, uh, like when I was going back to the uh, room, the, so she asked me like the teacher stopped me and said, uh, Beta, up interview bahut acha de rahe the problem is that you're not confident enough agar aap confidence rahoge to you can crack any interview just be confident there i understand the importance of be uh, be more confident about yourself about your interview then we started uh, like uh, with the interviews like third the, we were in the third semester and uh, so there were few placements that were coming in from the college, from the outside. Like I, I, I started applying on way, like all the websites that are available to apply for a job, like knockery.com, Indeed. I've spoke to my fee, uh, few friends that if you are working in uh, any of the company, can you uh, apply my CV over there? Then I started giving interviews in my third semester. I, I, I applied for almost 10 to 15 jobs. So uh, I still remember there was an interview uh, in uh, uh, MQ Financials, that is a financial services uh, company that provides the financial company uh, services to you. And it was in the Gurgaon and that was not from the college. I arranged it from somewhere from my sources. So I went there. Uh, the, then I went there for, for an interview. I was a bit better, but I would not say that I have given my best in that interview, but I was able to crack it. The problem there was that uh, I, I was not satisfied with the package they were providing. So I declined that offer and I uh, thought that I should give more interviews so I can be more confident. So then I started applying from the placement cell and I was able to grow as I was giving more and more interviews. I was more confident, uh, confident. I was uh, able to explain my things better. So I still remember I got placed from the college. There was a one uh, company that was uh, something from education sector and they had uh, three rounds of interview. First was MCQ and uh, written test was there. Then we had a one to one round session interview and then there was a panel discussion and I cleared all the rounds. I was so happy. I was so confident. And uh, then still I was not satisfied with the package they were providing. Then I uh, opted for the various sites like uh, I have I, I went to an interview in the Accenture. So they were providing the jobs in the operation team and the problem there was like that was a night shift, but I decided to give an interview for experience. So I went there. The like uh, the first round was HR round and I was not so confident in that HR round. I was because when I when I entered in the room, there, there was a big hall over there and hundreds of students were sitting there for like 10 position, I would say. I freaked out. I would I would say like 
hundred of students are sitting and they might be better than me how will i crack how, how will i be able to crack this interview so there was a first round hr round and hr just asked me a simple question a basic question of accounting and i was so freaked out that i won't i was not able to give the answer for that a simple question like she asked me a uh, three golden rules of accounting which you learn in 11th class and i i was in mba and i was not able to give the answer for that particular question so i was freaked out and then she asked me to have a uh, to to breathe and have a water and she asked me to come again after 5 minutes i went out i had uh, some fresh breath breathe and then i went again for the interview and then she said okay you are good at it you can go for the second round then by the time the second round came i was i was pretty sure that i don't want to take this job because it's a night shift and my parents won't allow me to work at night so <coughs> i went for the interview like the interview was with the senior manager over there so uh, then he asked me few questions about uh, uh, like initially he started with a brief introduction then he asked me like few question about myself my finance stream my majors my minors and i was able to give the all the answers properly with full of confidence and i was confident here because i knew that i don't want to uh, do this job so i i i had a more uh, confidence like theek hai jo hoga dekha jayega but i don't want to do this job i am giving in, in this interview for a good exposure so it it i like the session lasted for some 45 to 50 minutes and when i was uh, going out from the that room the interviewer room uh, this this uh, there was a sir he asked me beta are you sure that you are a fresher i was i said yes sir i am fresher uh, then he asked me from where did you have completed your mba i said uh, i have completed from geeta ratan international business school then he said beta geeta ratan wale aisa kya sikhate hain ki tumhe itna confidence kahan se aaya i was laughing i was literally laughing ki there was a time when my teacher told me that you should be confident enough to express yourself and there's a time when the interviewer is asking me ki itna confidence kahan se aaya so i was happy i was happy i was proud of myself there i learned the importance of being confident but uh, <coughs> as i told you that uh, the, i don't want to go for that particular job then i expo uh, uh, like i went for few more interviews then i found this job with genpact so uh, this is basically a consultant role in genpact and uh, here like my uh, cv was selected uh, based on some criteria so when i went there for an interview so these people ask me uh, that uh, uh, are you comfortable doing in sox testing so i was not sure about what what was sox testing so for me sox testing is like what are you talking about what is this so i was confused can anyone tell me like what is sox testing have you ever heard about it vikas sir mansi ma'am anyone hello no idea kachi <laughs> please tell us <laughs> <laughs> so i was like this i was like what is this kya karna hai isme exactly so they said that it is a basically a law that is governed by us and uh, you have to you know secure your financials so you have to perform this testing i was clueless i went for the interview so they asked me few questions related to my finance stream i was good at my finance my accounting my economics i was good at it so i gave all them all the answers but i was i read about socks like if you uh, see here it's a it's a definition given on internet that it is a serbian oxlade act which is there to protect the investors and the corporations but still it was uh, i was not able to relate this because uh, so i said like the uh, interviewer 
uh, asked me what have you uh, seen about like what is socks testing i said that yeah i have seen the definition but i don't know what it is so uh, there was a like the interview was with the assistant vice president of the company and he he laughed he said it's okay you will learn about it then i was like okay so i was confident enough over there i cracked the interview and i uh, went for the position on like a few months later i got to know that uh, from my uh, like from my uh, college there are few more people like two three more people uh, in uh, genpact erc but they were like uh, they were not hired at the same position as i was hired at i was shocked like why they are because they were also from the same college they were all they had also the same education why they are not hired at the same level as i am hired at then i i, I just managed to talk to them then they told me the interview their interview was not as good as mine so it's all about your confidence your ability to speak about yourself if you are confident enough you can crack and any interview it's not any thing uh, like they won't ask you anything uh, out of your syllabus or out of your mind and if if they ask anything like they ask me what is socks testing i said i don't know so you have to be honest if you say that you you know the what is what it is then you they'll ask more questions about the same topic and then you will be caught <laughs> they'll ask you that why did you lie to us so it's very important to be honest in an interview so uh talking about the career options so there are various career options to select and you are very young at this uh, this age and it is right time for you all to select your option some of you must have decided what they want to pursue but many of you must be still struggling and uh, must be st still struggling to find the best option for uh, yourself so i have selected various options uh, career options that you can go for and if you want a detailed explanation or want to know more about these option you can come to me ask me anytime you can take my number from mansi ma'am or vikas sir and i would be happy to help but i will explain these options over here so if anyone want to go for higher studies like mba uh it is very important uh, if you are going to mba you will get a good boost in your uh, uh, communication skill your presentation skill and your career itself you will be able to get into a good jobs if you are going for an mba but i know like it is not uh, convenient for everybody to go uh, and pursue for mba some someone might be like they won't be uh, like they want something else from their career their options so there are few more things i have uh, noted over here so like if anyone to uh, wants to go for education line they can go for the masters in any uh, specialization like uh, they can go for masters in english they can go for masters in economics they can go for masters in uh, i would say hindi and uh, there are few more subjects which are related to bba like business masters in commerce that is mcom there are various options then if anybody wants to go for abroad and study uh, uh, complete their further study in abroad there are few exams like gmat uh, and ielts and if you want to go outside the india the first main exam is ielts you have to clear, uh, clear it it is not a difficult exam it is very easy exam you can crack it easily in 15 20 days if you uh, uh, study well in 15 20 days you can crack that exam then here comes a diploma and certification courses <clears throat> it is very important and very essential so there are few diploma and certification courses like these day you can uh, Uh, log in to upgrad and uh, there are various websites where uh, you can get certification course 
and the most important certification course like the uh, the people who want to go for uh, private jobs i would suggest they should do few certifications like python it's a language course and then you can go for mysql it is also a language course uh, uh, a certification and the most important thing is excel you should be very good at excel your excel skill should be very good because uh, when you uh, move to a corporate world the only the basic skill everybody would expect from you is your excel skills you should know how to uh, put the formulas like we look up h look up pivot table and uh, if you are going through the certification that will uh, boost your uh, career options that will boost your performance and you will be getting a good job so i would suggest uh, because uh, these days you are work, like starting online so you can start with these uh, certification they will be very helpful for you in your career moving on to the private jobs uh, you can go to bank you like you can apply for the bank there are various bank that comes uh, come to us placements in like access bank hdfc bank icic banks they come for the placement in our college so you can apply from the college if you want to go for jobs <clears throat> then there are consultancy firms so basically consultancy firms works for a different client like i am working on consultancy firm so uh, this is different totally different from how industry works example if you are working in an industry you directly working for a consumer for your uh, for the uh, you are directly working on service goods and services but if you are on to a consultancy firm you are working for your clients so uh, this is uh, a good exposure and this can be a good exposure for you and you can try and get into a consultancy firm and there is a bright future for the people who are opting for finance uh, as a their career option i would suggest they should must go uh, to consultancy firm once in their lifetime <coughs> i'm sorry <clears throat> then there are bpos there are various bpos uh, and these uh, these jobs are easily available after graduations so uh, you can uh, go to uh, bpos are basically like operation teams so if you going to a company there are basically three uh, i would say tars over here so if any company uh, is working is selling an, a chocolate so they have three major tars like accounting to reporting Uh, purchase to pay and O to C order to cash. There are three basic accounting concept for uh, a firm to work. So you can easily get job in these uh, sectors, these towers. You all you uh, need to know is a basic details of these things, and you will be able to easily crack the interview. Then uh, there are market if you are good at marketing field. so there are uh, various courses available where various certification available on uh, upgrad and indie so you can uh, go there like there are digital marketing options and various other things uh, but uh, if you want to select a marketing option you can go through it and learn about it so uh, then third we uh, talk about the government jobs just a second and government exam so if because you all are still in your graduation so you have enough time to prepare for government jobs and government examination like upsc ssc bank po fcat tsb tsb is basically delhi state board examination if you want to get into any uh, government services of in delhi you have to give this examination and you can easily get a government job after giving this examination this is called dsb then there is fcat uh, this is my favorite one so basically uh, if you want to get into a force uh, indian airway uh, airways then you can uh, give this examination basically it is not important that you have to uh, be a science student 
to give this examination it is not important you can give this examination and you can get a ground level duty over there like there are various department and uh, government sectors also like accounts department finance department hr department there are various uh, departments and you can get into those department by giving this exam and it is very good career option for anyone who want to go for a government job and the exam this examination uh, this exam is very simple it ha it has basic things from like your 12 standard and uh, it is very good examination then we have bank po it is for anyone who is interested in government job and who wanted to opt for bank services bank po is bit difficult exam but once you enter uh, into this exam and go for this exam your future is bright over here upsc and ssc everybody knows that i think i don't need to explain these exams then the fourth option comes for business so uh, some of you might be going for a family business some of you might be thinking to start starting a new business before starting a business uh, i would say you should have a plan you should actually have a plan to start a business like how much capital is needed to invest in your business what are the pro what are the pros and cons of the business of this business uh, from like what is the market growth for this business where you will be standing uh, like in the line of 5 years if you start this business so you should prepare a basic plan business plan uh, that if you go for this option these are the pros these are the cons these are the capital investments how will you arrange for the investment how much interest you are giving on the, your uh, capital so these are the uh, things that you should uh, for uh, like uh, plan accordingly and if you are going for uh, any business and you want to prepare a business plan you can definitely talk to your teachers there are uh, they can explain you things better like uh, how to prepare a business plan and if anyone is not convenient in talking to teachers they can come to me because i am uh, i am planning to start a new business uh, like i am working in genpack also i'm starting planning to start a new business also and uh, which is like export import business so i am preparing a business plan for that currently it's in a process so you can come to me ask me how to prepare a plan what are the things that you should keep in mind uh, before preparing a plan and how to start a business <clears throat> uh, so basically i've already explained you about the various fields but still if you will be struggling with the decision of choosing what is right for you what is wrong for you so uh, i i want to give you a few tips few option paths uh, and that uh, might help you to select uh, your option <coughs> before going for any uh, career option you should set your priorities first like uh, what is the most important thing for you so you have to set your goals goals can be short terms or goals can be long term but you have to think before going for a career option and when you learn how to prioritize your life you can focus with the intention on what matters and what accomplish you more and what is most important goal for you now the point is how to set a priority how will you get to know what is priority for you or what is not uh mansi ma'am i wanted uh, a maximum participation i want to perform a, an activity with the students uh so can you help me out sure ma'am sure so students i want a maximum participation uh, there's a small activity uh, so i want you to take a break think about your life what is really important for you kya matlab what is really that makes you happy so write down a thing that truly important for you the things 10 years from now will make you happy will make you proud so there is a point in everybody's life ki aapko uh, job satisfaction nahi hai ya kuch bhi nahi hai so you have to stop everything you have to think 
you have to set your priority for example if you ask me ki what is my priority i would say uh, 10 years down the line i wanted to be avp of the company in which i am working avp is assistant vice president so there can be different priorities for different people for example for few getting married would be priority getting into good mnc would be priority for someone Uh, for someone moving abroad would be priority someone being an actor would be priority so priorities can be different so i want you all to think take a 5 minutes break and think about it that what is your priority where do you want to see yourself in next 10 years or you still want to be a student in next 10 years whatever it is just think about it i would ask randomly from the participant list that what is your priority i am giving you 5 minutes it's 335 i will ask you at 340 what are your priority <laughs> mansi ma'am i will ask you also <laughs> ma'am am i audible yes yes ma'am you are audible okay so i'll ask randomly from the participant list that what are your priorities do anyone have any question relating to how to set the priorities Ma'am, audible. Rachi, ma'am. Yeah, you're audible. Yes, ma'am. My priorities are to uh, work in MNC companies. I mean, like MNC ah. area type. Great. So, are you working towards your goal every day? Have you thought yes. that how would you start uh, like giving an interview or anything? Yes. Have you started doing that? Ma'am, not yet started doing, but planning for that. great so that means you are going towards your goals like day by day you are stepping towards your goal yes ma'am so the basic motive of this exercise was to realize what is our priority and this uh, let me present my screen again so like uh, after you have set your priorities like mansi ma'am told me that she wanted to be in an an mnc so but she is planning it so she is going a step ahead towards her goal think about the things that you are doing every day write them down for example if i want to crack a upsc exam i should focus on my studies and start giving my 3 to 4 hours per day to start preparing for the exam right now the question is am i doing this and if not that this is not my priority and i should rethink about my goals like mansi ma'am told me that she want to be in mnc down the five line down the two lines but it's not meet sejal she is a student in gips okay sejal sorry yes ma'am so sejal want to be in uh, mnc so sejal what like do you want to go for mba or do you want to pursue anything else ma'am i want to go for an mba but ma'am i want your personal interaction of course i am going to 
interact with you after this session. I have to already told Mansi ma'am that please give me the number of Prachi ma'am. I want to talk to her for I, other studies. I am glad. I'm uh, I'm glad that uh, I'll be able to help you out. Thank you, ma'am. And I really like that you participating. Thank you, ma'am. So, any other any other student want to tell about their priorities, their goals? I'll ask randomly then. Mm, okay. Dhruv Chavla. Mr. Dhruv Chavla, what is your priority? After completing VPA, I want to go abroad to study sports management. Wow, that's great. So, have you started working towards your goal? Yes, ma'am. That is great. So, like, aapko, you will be happy after you're doing something. You will feel grateful that at least you were, you are working towards your goal. So, a happiness aati hai apne andar se, self satisfaction aati hai. Yes, ma'am. I want wanted to do sports management. So, I am I am looking for internships also. I'm working towards that only. Sports management. Yeah, as so a sport. What, so uh, what is basically, so have you pursued for any any of the sports activities? No, no, I'm doing small, small internships in sports, sports box, uh, sports companies. I'm applying so that mm -hmm. I can gain experience before going abroad to do sports management. Great. That is great. Like, uh, I've never, uh, honestly, I've never about the sports management course. Can you can you explain me what it is and uh, uh, what actually how it works? In sports management, like uh, we uh, Olympics, there's ICC who organizes all the matches like mm -hmm. T20 World Cup. They organize mm -hmm. T20 World Cup. So I want to go in organizing part. Ki. We, I will organize these uh, events like Olympics, Paralympics, wow. ICC, like That's that. That's great, great career option. Like, uh, likewise, we are doing going for event manager management. It's a sports management course, and you can go for higher studies, and then you can be a part of organizing committee for the sports management and the events that are happening on the world level, right? Yes, yes, it's great, a growing great. career. Actually, yes. it will, it will grow. In 2027, it will be a great career. Wow! Congratulations! I'm 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 very uh, excited and happy. Like, uh, like few of you are getting uh, like thinking about your careers at this age. It's very inspiring. Great, Dhruv. Great. Then I will ask. Uh, okay. Uh, Randomly, I'm picking uh, people. So, Jatin Sharma. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Sharma, do you have any goals? Yes, I want to establish my career in the corporate sector after I'm completing my BB. Wow, like after completing BB or after going for a, like you want to go pursue higher studies, then corporate sector? No, no, after BB, I will do my MBA through distance learning. Oh, so like what? Uh, what is the your uh, area of interest? Like marketing, management. Fin oh, great. So, like, what kind of company you are expecting to be in? Like big fours or any normal uh, company? Like, what is your goal? What is your dream? Itna to me ko bhi thoda knowledge nahi hai ki main kis company ke so sakta hoon bhi. I no, starting my internship with Sher Khan. I was in college. I was in finance. Mein. Uh -huh. I remember Sher Khan was in the time. Pe bhi thi. <laughs> yes. Nice. So, uh, it's a good option. Uh, you can go for various uh, like fields. Basically, I would suggest go for uh, the big fours. At least give the interviews. Apply through Nokri.com, uh, Glassdoor, etc. And of course, apply through LinkedIn. It really helped. I got my this job from Nokri.com. I'm still getting various interviews from Nokri.com itself. 
so if you want to pursue your uh, career in corporate sector i would suggest you to be on linkedin and these various websites and uh, if you want any suggestion any ideas like how to uh, apply in these industry or if anyone of you want to be in my company <laughs> i can refer you so uh, you can uh, come to me talk to me about it so basically <clears throat> my point here was to interact with you to know that have you uh, started investing your time uh, into your pa passion etc so the third point is that is very important is run a test week now your priorities are set your goals are set so i would say you should go or uh, run like uh, go for a trial week for example uh, if i want to go for a gym i would think twice thrice that i should go for a gym should i take a one month package or three month package or a six month package then i think that will i able to will i be able to do it like subha uthna gym jana and then do office work so Uh, i usually uh, do a trial week, week before going to a gym like for example if i want to go for a gym then uh, i used to wake up for next 7 8 days early in the morning like 6 am 7 am in the morning i go for a gym i go for a walk i this is a like kind of trial week whatever you have decided to follow your plan at least do it for a week here you will be have a fair idea that you are working towards your goal and you will be able Uh, you will have a positive and ener energy towards your work you will feel great that you are moving towards your goal this approach will help you a lot as here you are not jumping to your dreams right away you are moving one step closer to your dream daily be patient and enjoy this journey you will ultimately get what you deserve in your life then uh, i would say dedicate your time to your pa passion i can easily uh, i i'm just explaining it to you quickly so it exact uh, exactly means that if you have passion you have to follow it you have to invest some times in it so, uh, so uh, there is a great uh, artist called caso if uh, anyone of you have heard about it so picasso once was roaming Uh, around the street in one of the european uh, country so uh, that time there was no social media so he was not he was famous actually but people didn't recognize him well so there was a lady uh, he went close to uh, him and asked are you picasso the artist so he said yes i am the picasso. yes ma'am i am the picasso so uh, she said that uh, uh i am a great fan of yours i want to be like you and uh, i want something from you a gift from you picasso was bare hand at that time he said ma'am i don't have anything to give you right away so he said but i am meeting a picasso i want something from you uh the picasso saw a stationery shop nearby he bought a paper a pen from there he draw a painting over there and give it to uh, that lady and said dear lady this is a uh, a million dollar painting and this is a gift from uh, me to you so the, the lady thought that how a person can draw a painting in 30 seconds a million dollar painting in 30 seconds she thought it for like some uh, month and she wanted to meet picasso again then there was a uh, inauguration of art gallery where picasso was coming she went there she went back to picasso she said uh, ki dear uh, Pic uh, dear sir uh, do you remember me we went in that uh, particular european country and you gifted me this painting so picasso said yes i i remember you so she said she asked uh, she said i want to be like you H how can you draw a painting uh, in a 30 second a million dollar painting can, you can draw in a 30 second i want to be like you and i also want to be an artist i want to draw a painting in 30 second a million dollar painting in 30 second so the picasso uh, told him a very good line that is dear lady to draw this 30 seconds painting i have invested my 30 years of life in this passion in this art 
that is why i am able to draw this painting in 30 second so the point here is if you are investing your time in your passion you will uh, be able to achieve one day so it is very important to dedicate your time talk to others with the similar goals uh, if you have any goal if you have any idea uh, you can talk to anyone with the similar goals this will help you to build uh, build your uh, career towards it you won't go backward you will take a forward step towards your goal and the last is don't stop trying it is very important and it is always important for everyone whatever line you choose don't ever stop trying i can uh, give you an example of myself like i i have explained you that i have given several interviews where i was not confident enough but today i am here speaking in front of you so this is this happened because i have never stopped trying so don't stop trying ever uh, just give me a minute so actually i have already crossed the time i would conclude quickly actually i wanted to explain you about my various fields also but it, it's okay uh, i will just explain you how your cv is important uh just can me so your cv is basically very important if you are going for uh, any i would say a corporate field so your cv speaks about you so uh, i remember when i uh, was i started giving my interviews uh, i prepared a cv that uh, that cv was not uh, not uh, i would say uh, like uh, explainable or not very interactive because i didn't know how to write a cv how to prepare it how to explain myself so there was a my, one of my friend he was into hr fields he was uh, working in a big uh, company he suggested me that this is how you should prepare your cv uh, you should explain each and every detail about you uh, and if you if as a employer if you're reading if you're going through an cv uh, you should be confident uh, the employer should be confident enough that yes this person is an active person he is taking parts in various things he is doing various thing or he she is doing various thing and this person can be a good uh, employee for us uh, he can be a good resource for us so you before giving an interview your cv speaks about yourself so uh, it is very important to prepare a cv and after i prepare the cv i got selected in various uh, companies so i would suggest you to prepare your cv very well uh, you can talk to your uh, uh, like placement cell they will guide you how to prepare a cv and you can come to me if you have any doubts and you can talk to the teachers but it is very important your cv says all about you so uh, because uh, yeah where i was explaining you when i joined genpack there were few more people who joined from my uh, uh, college only but they were uh, not at the position where i started at so it happens because of your cv it says all about you it is very important if you want to go for corporate sector you should prepare your cv well like spend at least a week on research uh, and how to prepare a good cv then prepare it go for it uh, go to placement cell ask teacher there like there was a manender ma'am uh, at my time i don't know who is now in the uh, the department now but you can always go and ask them ask for a help you can come to us uh, and uh, ask for the help there was a story i wanted to tell you about the socks but uh, i have already crossed the time so i would if anybody is interested in uh, interested in knowing more about socks and its uh, socks and compliance act you can come to me i will explain so uh, thank you mansi ma'am vikas sir for giving me this opportunity to uh, share my experience and my learnings with the students thank you so much
थैंक यू सो मच मैम इट वॉज एन ट्रूली इंस्पायरिंग सेशन on behalf of gibbs i express my heartfelt vote of thanks to hina ma'am and prachi ma'am who spent their busiest time gracing the occasion your thoughts have enlightened our minds and shown us a new path thanks to all the speakers for adoring the session and sharing their opinion today i express my heartfelt thanks to all the delegates who have made this event a huge success with their participation i would also like to thank the organizing team students teachers staff members for making this lecture series a success thank you uh thank you hina thank you prachi for accepting our invitation thank because you so much, uh, thank you so uh, much sir i know uh, prachi was suffering from fever from last uh, two days and uh, she is uh, delivering the lecture to the students and uh, hina you your presence your words uh, relevant knowledge in the area of uh, this uh, field i think all the students uh, uh, must have benefited so i hope uh, it will be uh, good for the students so thank you so much uh, hina and uh, prachi uh, keep in touch and uh, the same uh, types of activities we are organizing on regular basis so definitely we will call again uh, uh, and uh, i think uh, with your words of wisdom with your knowledge uh, other students uh, may get uh, benefit sure sir Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for uh, presenting myself here and that was not just the journey not just the learning but uh, uh, even within this uh, presentation i have learned a lot it was a very good experience and thank you having me here thank you so much thank you thank you everyone for joining thank you so much hina and prachi thank you so you may leave thank you ina you can leave come on i need to get the next meeting